Last night, the United States military forces successfully moved a major terrorist threat to the world, the global leader of ISIS, known as Haji Abdullah. He took over as leader of ISIS in uh, 2019. Haji Abdullah oversaw the spread of ISIS-affiliated terrorist groups around the world. He was responsible for the recent brutal attack on a prison in northeast Syria. He was the driving force behind the genocide of the Yazidi people in northwestern Iraq in 2014. But as our troops approached to capture the terrorist, in a final act of desperate cowardness, he, with no regard to the lives of his own family or others in the building, he chose to blow himself up, not just to the vest, but to blow up that third floor rather than face justice for the crimes he has committed. But thanks to the bravery of our troops, this horrible terrorist leader is no more. They're leaderless today, um, and that's a significant blow. Uh, this is not something that we believe ISIS is going to be able to just get over real quickly and real easily. Uh, Haji Abdullah was a very hands-on leader and uh, involved in, in many day-to-day -day operations of ISIS and certainly keenly interested in restoring the uh, lethality and the uh, higher op tempo uh, that ISIS had once enjoyed. While there were no U.S. casualties, one of our helicopters did suffer a mechanical failure, and so General McKenzie made the decision that the helicopter should be abandoned and detonated so it could be destroyed in place. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.